So while a couple teams screwed up by not selecting Ben Simmons, we did a pretty good job in the draft selecting Nigel Hayes, who seems to be a stretch four and athletic power forward for us, and then Brandon Ingram looks like he's just got limitless potential as a scorer. And so now, we really have a nice young crop of talent, and of course, the head of it all is our point guard Emmanuel Moutier, but I also think our center Nurkic is a, maybe a medium distant second, and when we look at guys like Justin Anderson and KJ McDaniels running up and down the floor like a maniac, there's good things going on. Now, talking about free agency, which just passed, I made a couple of calls. I said, hey, Evan Fournier, what do you think about, you know, kind of replacing Will Barton as my uh, scoring shooting guard? He didn't even get back to me. I was like, well, all right. So then I said, you know what? Maybe I should try DeMar DeRozan just because he fits into our play style so well. He wasn't having it. So you want to know who we scored in free agency? Nobody. Not one name. But now, it's time for the NBA Summer League. A place where we can give our young guys the ability to grow, give them as many minutes as possible, see who are some keepers and who are some guys I have to say, do you suck? And uh, to start this off, Yusuf Nurkic, who better be our best player in this. Okay, it's his second season. I've already said he can probably be among our top guys on the team, so he better be ready. But you notice, not too far into the game, I already got to take him out. His stamina is about to be at 84. It's close to 70s. I can't have that. I got to take him out of the game. Like, he's definitely improved in that area, but he still kind of wants to puke the second he jogs like two minutes. So, that's a constant work in progress. He's working on the Latvian gangster Przingis. That was a damn good post move. I like that one. Now he's got to show off the rebound in a little bit. And... He was actually kind of kicking Przingis' ass, to be honest. I mean, he's definitely, he definitely has a few pounds on him. I mean, Nurkic, the perm is looking good. He was looking good. And you're going to see again here. Got to go to the post game. I mean, I really didn't use that side of his game too much last season because I just didn't think he was there. But now, okay, I see you. The pump fake getting the guy in the air, backing him down. I like it. But also... Can I get some shot blocking, Nurkic? There you go. You gotta give me some defense, too. I mean, can't just be a one-sided player. And now somebody screwed that pass up. But it's okay because once again, Nurkic, that rebounded. Oof. Listen. If his rebounding is really that good and he remains that good, it becomes much easier to trade Kenneth Fareed. But now, let's talk about Gary Harris. A guy who kind of gave up on at the end of last season, but... He can definitely shoot, and he can definitely play defense. Look at that three-pointer right there. I mean, he had a moment for us where I was like, this guy's probably our starting shooting guard. But then, um, Will Barton got a little better. We acquired KJ McDaniels, who is probably always going to have a spot in the rotation. But, we need a shooter at the two-guard spot. Will Barton and Gary Harris, I think there's real competition between the two of them. Gary Harris, of course, I mentioned, can also play a little bit of defense, as you saw there. He's looking good in these clips. I mean, he's hitting jumpers, which is, of course, what we need. He got better in the offseason, but he can also fit into the mold of running as well. Now let's look at our top five pick, Nigel Hayes, okay? The guy who's going to make me get rid of Kenneth Fareed. I, I didn't say that out loud. Don't worry about it. He's supposed to be a stretch four. So show me the damn jump shot. All right, that looked good. That looked really nice. And then on this one, his guy's giving him some space. Go up with it immediately. That's the confidence I need. Don't even think about it. Just shoot it the second you get the thing. He knows he can shoot, and he knows he can block a shot, too. My goodness. Nigel Hayes looking very good, looking nimble. And look at this play here. I said he's got, like, some Draymond Green ability. I mean, he's 6'8", 240. He's got, like, a similar body set. Goes behind the back, finishes with a layup. I like it. Now, can he post up, though? I mean, I'll be honest. He got himself a bit of a mismatch. I'm not really going to call upon him to do that, but it's cool. Justin Anderson, who I really, you know, I was happy when we acquired him. Did I think he was going to have the impact he had for us last season? No, I didn't. He can definitely run up and down the floor. I think he's got like a 98 vertical. God damn. And of course, with this team, we're preaching defense, okay? You got to be able to keep your guy in between your legs. That was kind of a weird saying. Don't, don't worry about it. He was able to play defense on that other play, and then he can just zip up the floor really quickly. I mean, if there's not a guy to stop him, please don't get embarrassed. But now let's look at Brandon Ingram, the guy out of Duke, our surprise pick. 
Have you ever had a selection outside of like the top 5 in 2k that was actually good? Look at that. I want guys who can run the floor, KJ McDaniels lobbing it up to Brandon Ingram. That's just great because at one time the only guy who could run the floor for us was Moutier, but now we got all these young kids zipping up and down. This is great. This is fantastic, but let's see that jumper. Ooh. Okay, that's alright. That's okay. You know, everybody's gonna miss one. That's cool. You're open on this one. That's gotta drop. Come on, Ingram. Okay. You got the Austin Rivers release. I mean, it's not a bad one. Oh, man. Potentially a concern. The shooting. Maybe I'm just bad with the release, whatever it is, but hopefully that doesn't become a trend. But he can already get up and down the floor. If you notice Moutier wasn't playing... I don't need him in the damn summer league, like, I know what he is, okay? Everybody else, I got some agenda with, trying to see what they can do. He finally got a jumper to fall, but he was on the he was on the three-point line. I don't want any long twos, man. We're, we're looking to take three-pointers, so make sure you back up a little bit next time. But, the finishing at the rim is already really good. And now to end this thing, let's look at KJ, okay? Who was, um... I think KJ really symbolized the type of team we're going for, because we traded a vet in Wilson Chandler for the young kid, who um, definitely is not there yet. I mean, he definitely still has places he needs to improve on, but look, it's a process. We're going to be here for a minute. It's okay to not be good right away, but look at this. KJ hitting threes? Okay, look, if KJ McDaniels is hitting three-point shots, he's the starting two guard immediately. So sorry, everybody else. Because he can do that, and then if he can stretch the floor as well, oof. Perfect guy next to Moutier. And I mean, Gary Harris, Will Barton, those guys would be fine coming off the bench. And then, look out, Perzingod. If you just needed some sort of grand finale on this Summer League game. Oof, KJ. Don't hurt him that bad, man. Don't hurt him. Listen, Perzingis is great. He's fantastic. He's dunked on a few people himself, but hey, it's gotta happen team looked really good in the first summer league game our young guys seemed like um they looked like what i wanted them to look like they were exciting helping each other out nurkic was doing nurkic things it was great nigel hayes was hitting jump shots kj was being kj it's good